Hi artists! Today we are going to talk about a tool we use in the art room sometimes, and that is a ruler. Some of our rulers look different, but they all have the same jobs. One of the jobs of a ruler is to measure. Notice all the numbers on the ruler. Sometimes the numbers indicate inches, and sometimes the rulers have more than one system of measurement. So this ruler has inches, but it also has centimeters on the other side. For this project, we don't need to worry about measuring. We are just using our ruler as a tool to make straight lines. Today, we are starting with a pencil. You decide which way you want your paper to go, the tall way or the long way, landscape or portrait style. I'm gonna write my name on the back of my paper and I'm going to write my class code. Remember, your class code is your grade and then the first letter of your teacher's last name. I'm gonna flip it over so my name is on the back. When I am using my ruler today, I'm going to use my helper hand to hold it down. My helper hand is the hand that does not have the pencil in it. It will help me so that the ruler does not wiggle around. Our artwork today is going to be a straight line design. You decide how many lines you're using, which way the lines are going, and what kind of a design they are making. Here, I am lining up my ruler to go the opposite direction. I'm making some perpendicular lines. I'm also going to make sure I do not cover up the lines I already made with my ruler so that I can see where the next line is going to go. I decided that I want groups of lines together, but I don't want them to overlap each other. I want it to look like maybe they stop when they get to the other line. So that's what I'm doing with my ruler. I am creating lines going all different directions so that they are exciting to look at. I another design. This time, I am going to move my ruler a little bit at the top, but leave it in the same place or in the same general place at the bottom so that it looks like my lines are all coming together or getting closer and touching at the bottom of my page. Today is for practicing and experimenting with your ruler. So you decide which direction the lines are going and the design that they are making. Here I have two completely different designs, but in both of them I used a pencil and a ruler to make them. Now let's review line weight by using our permanent markers. Line weight is how we describe the darkness or the lightness or the line. Sometimes we talk about thick or thin or the heaviness of the line. All of these markers are going to make a different kind of line weight. Here I have a very dark and heavy line using my big permanent marker. I am actually scooting my ruler over just a little bit so it's actually not lined up exactly with that line because if I line it up exactly with the line the ruler gets in the way when I am trying to draw. So here I'm just scooting it over a teeny bit so that I can see the line that I made with my pencil and then I'm going to trace it with my Sharpie.
I am using all of the Sharpies that I have available so that I have lots of different kinds of line weight. I think it's more interesting to look at when you mix it up, but it's up to you. You are the artist, so you get to decide what sort of line weight is going to be in your artwork today. Here, I noticed that I moved my ruler away too quickly and I got a little bit of a smudge from my permanent marker. That's okay, I think it kind of makes a cool effect, but just be careful when you are tracing artists. Here, I have grabbed some crayons and I'm ready to color. You are going to have a lot of different options when it comes to coloring today, and we will talk about that at the end of the video. I am going up and down with my crayon to fill in my line. I know that if I try and go side to side in this narrow space, it is not going to work as well. So here I'm going up and down. If I try to turn my crayon and go the other way, I don't get to fill in those white spaces as well and it's harder to fit my crayon in there. So go with the direction your lines are going. I noticed that I have a lot of white space in my background, so I decided that I'd like to fill that in. I'm using some neutral colors like black and gray so that it doesn't take away from those bright colors I already added and it helps to make them stand out some more. Here is my finished line design where I practiced using my ruler. Have fun with yours artists and be creative.